This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Toyota's woes just keep mounting with numerous class action lawsuits underway across the country. The first lawsuit in Los Angeles was filed today against the car company. Jane Yamamoto is here with details. Jane. Well, Christine, this is a copy of the official complaint filed this morning in L.A. County Superior Court. It is a wrongful death lawsuit against Toyota, and the attorney representing the family says it could have been prevented, but the car turned out to be what he calls a ticking time bomb that went off. Noriko Uno, a dedicated wife and mother, helped her husband run their sushi restaurant. The 66-year-old was just minutes away from their upland home running errands when her son got a call from police. They asked me some strange questions about my mom's car, and then they ultimately told me that, uh, I'm sorry, your mom's been involved in a serious car accident. She didn't make it. She was behind the wheel of her 2006 Toyota Camry. The attorney representing the family demonstrated what they believe happened six months ago. The gas pedal didn't just stick, it completely accelerated to the floor. Her handbrake was pulled up, but the car didn't stop, turning it into what he calls a death trap. She was seen traveling some up to 100 miles an hour. She was trapped in this Toyota Camry rocketing out of control. She hit a curb, vehicle rolled, hit a tree, and uh, soon thereafter she passed away. Now the family is filing a wrongful death lawsuit. They claim Toyota had received hundreds of complaints of sudden acceleration on the Generation 6 Camry dating back nearly a decade. We call these vehicles and install a brake override system so that we don't have a repeat of these types of incidents. My wife should not die. Yasuharu says his wife was a safe driver, never speeding. That's why she didn't drive on the freeway. He has this message for Toyota executives. Please bring back my wife. It looked like Toyota knew that there was something wrong with it. They just didn't say anything. And he says if Toyota had done something to correct it six months ago, maybe his mom would still be alive. No comment from Toyota on the lawsuit.